Hello guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux tutorial series. In this video, we're going to discuss the call command called curl command. Uh, let me increase my brush size. Yeah, in the last video we discussed the command called wget command. So there are few differences in the wget and curl command. But the main difference is the curl command works on the concept of non-interactive. So this is a way like uh, we don't, as a user, we don't have to pass any interactive or any option. Like uh, we don't have to pass yes or no where it's asking because that's why it's called non-interactive. Eh? So this is the reason we can use this command in the best script also because we want to use the command in script only those commands that uh, don't require any interaction basically. Okay. And the wget command works on the concept of downloading. Okay. With the curl command, we can share the data over the network. Now, what does it mean over the network? Maybe this is your laptop, user laptop. This is some your friend laptop or this is the whole internet. Okay. So, you can share data between internet and you, between you and your friend. So, there are multiple use cases of all like curl command. But the main use is, this is a non-interactive command. The wget is an interactive command. And when we are sending some requests with the help of wget command, what wget command is doing is, it's always on the URL. If we are writing some URL on the front of wget, it's always downloading some files from that URL. That means, it's not showing us the output on the screen. Even though what it's doing is it's downloading a file on that URL. So that's why wget works on the concept of downloading and curl always shows the output on screen, not download any file. If you want to save a file, we can do with the curl command. But yeah, by default, it's not nature of the curl command. Now we're going to discuss multiple options and examples of the curl command. And a very great example in this video I'm going to show you is how we can upload or download a file, not from the internet, but you can even, if you know something about FTP, FTP servers, you can download and upload files on FTP server or like you can pass username and password also in that URL. So multiple things we can do with the curl command. So let's be with me till the end of this video. We're going to discuss multiple few uh, interesting things. But before that, let's discuss the syntax of the command is. So the command name, and as always, we have some options. And we know curl command is used to work or deal with the URL. So at the end, we have to place some URL. Okay. The very first example I'm going to show you is without any options. So let's move to the screen. And the com I like uh, this is a new folder. No file is here. If I do curl and I have some URL copied. Okay. This is a URL, a very big file. If I hit enter. What happened to this? Let me close this and instead of this, I can do one thing. So I am going and writing curl here. See what happening is it's showing us output of the file on the screen, on the real time screen. It's not downloading any file or nothing. You read data, okay. Uh, we can't read it with the human eyes, okay. Uh, this is the file, some ISO file is there. If you see, check the URL in the end, you can see dot ISO. So that's the difference between curl and URL. When I hit enter the same URL in the front of curl, whatever present on that URL, it's showing live on to me or the live data of that URL on screen or console to me. Okay, this is the use of curl. But if I use the same URL with wget, you will see a very big difference actually here. So it will download file. wget works on the downloading of file. See, it started downloading the file. That is the use of wget and curl command. And now let's discuss few of the options of the uh, curl command. So the very first option is like in the front of curl, we are passing URL. So we can pass multiple URL also. Now what does it mean is, let me show it to you. If I hit the URL of www.google.com, okay, what it will show you? See, it showed you some data, okay. And this is coming from the google.com page or the google.com URL, okay. Now, if you want to hit multiple URL at the same time, okay, what you can do is curl, then you have to paste the common thing like www. Dot, okay. Now what does it mean? I'm telling common is, so I want to hit multiple URL. One is www.google.com. Okay. Another is www.youtube.com. Okay. So this .com and www is common and this thing is domain name is get changed. So what I can do is I can write www. Okay. Dot. This parenthesis or curly braces. Then Google comma YouTube I can write and at the end dot .com. Like this we can hit multiple URL with the help of curl. So I'm doing Google. Okay. Dot .com. Now what you're saying is unmatched close brackets okay saying www it will not resolve okay so i guess like this we can give so something like uh, i am sure i don't use this much but like this only we have to give but yeah you can check the manual manual of this command okay so in the manual we will found some option how to pass multiple urls like cc just it work so I hit it like this without any space. See, now it worked. And if you see, now two web pages are coming, not a single web page is there, or two URLs are hitting at the same time. Now I can't show you the difference here, but yes, two URLs are getting hit at the same time. Else it is giving me error like before. So it will give error if it doesn't work. Okay, so this is a another option. The second option we have in the curl command is the hyphen O. Now what does hyphen O option will do is I want to download file 
that is present on URL. So that file I want to save to my local system. And I have to give the name of that file, some like different name I have to give or by with some different name I have to save that file on this URL. So what I can do is I can use hyphen option. Hyphen home is output the file. Now output the file where? So let's see. If I do ls, nothing is here. Now if I do curl, or I can use the same URL also. This www.google.com I can use. And if I use hyphen o option, okay, then I will say new.com or new file I can write it. Okay, and I hit enter. See, it just downloaded the file and it shows multiple times like how much time it took, what is the average speed of upload and download, what is the current speed, like this. If I do ls, see new file is downloaded. If I do cat of this file, you will see the same content that we are seeing on the screen at a real time. So that's how we can download file with the help of curl command. Okay, let me remove this file. I want to show you some more things. Okay. Now, you want to see, like if you are downloading some file, very big file, which file, let's say, we are downloading this file. So this file is too long basically. So big file. So I'm getting bored of this thing. Like it's not showing me any thing like how much time left. It's showing here, but not in the human interactive way. Like it's not the human interactive way basically. So how I can do is let me first remove this big file. Now there is another option in the curl command. Sorry. Let me go here. The another option in the curl command is hyphen this pound symbol we can use to see the progress of file downloading. Okay. So very quickly if I show you. So I'm using the same command, this, I'm saving this and then hyphen, pound symbol, enter. Now you will see some line will come up automatically after some percentage of download, some pound symbol getting started to come. See, the first, very first pound symbol come up, second, now it will start like this, the, the pound symbol will get on increase in the number till the 100% this work is done. So that is a, another option. Okay. Now, the another option apart from this is we can use one more option that is hyphen, hyphen, silent. What hyphen hyphen silent will do is it will always for a permanent way it will disable this showing uh, like it, it is not showing anything now before if you don't use hyphen hyphen silent option it will show by default as like current speed average download speed average upload speed or if you use hyphen s it will show in the terms of hashes in the progress but if you use hyphen hyphen silent it's like stuck the terminal is stuck but no the terminal is not getting stuck because if I show you in the background it's downloaded one big file and if I show you again big file I am removing this file and unless I am doing nothing is here but same command I will use again. So in the background it's downloading but it seems like it's stuck totally. So there is a use of hyphen hyphen silent option. Now if you see big file is there. The another option I want to discuss with you is the hyphen capital C. The hyphen capital C is very useful option. Why? Because sometimes if you are downloading some movies or something like that. So maybe in GBs or in the terabytes if you are downloading some files. So network connection got interrupted. Okay. And we want as soon as the network connection got restored the file will start resume again. So that's what hyphen C will do. Hyphen C will resume the download if some file is interrupted while downloading. Okay. So if I show you let's come to this file only and uh, if I go here and I will use hyphen C option. Let me check what is the option that we use to again there are many options you can use the manual always it's a very good practice to use manual always See, hyphen C is the option to continue at offset resume transfer offset. So this is option. Okay. And I don't know why it's not working here. So if I like try it by this, expected a proper numerical parameter if I give like this, let's say I'm giving this. And let me, let me, let me again hit the enter to this and hyphen O I'm using. Now I'm using short file. Okay. See, we have to give some option. Now that what option is this is, it's uh, you can think of like uh, the bytes getting transferred or something like that. If this this stop, it will again after this much of uh, bytes. So you can think like it's a basically a delay. You can think of now uh, the, if I do hit uh, and uh, if I do ls, the short file is uh, downloaded. But I want to show you one more option. Let's say you don't want to uh, use your bandwidth and bandwidth totally here. So see, my current speed is this three two three one kb or uh, like kilobyte, uh, and the average download speed is this same. So every bandwidth is using the full bandwidth is using in this curve only. So I want to limit my what I can say is I want to limit my uh, speed. Okay, so hyphen hyphen limit hyphen rate is option. Okay, and I can give it like what is this? One second. I can give it like this. Okay, and I'm hitting enter. See, my current speed reduced to some around this thousand. Okay, and if you see every download speed is this. It's not like that. My internet got suddenly down. No, it's not like that. If I show you again, it's not even a one second. And if I remove this option, so my internet automatically come again at a very high speed. So that's what I want to show you. See, again, at a very high speed, it got come up. See, so basically that is the use of this option. Now, the last option I want to 
share with you is like sometimes there is a requirement in the project or in the multiple things or in the best script if you want to write something so we have to write some conditions okay what is the condition is if the if the status code as i told you in the last or few last classes there, there are few status code like 200 404 50 something like this influence server error okay so i want to check some condition like if status code is 200 then only download this file so there is a way in the curl hyphen capital i this option will check only the http headers it will not show you the content it's only fetch the http headers if i do curl hyphen capital i and www.google.com if i write okay it will show you see status code here and somehow you know my videos like awk std command you can filter out this third column and then compare it with the some conditions so that's the use of hyphen i command is so if you want to download some ftp server file or if you want to upload some ftp server file so the way uh, you can do with is uh, in the curl command okay we have an option called hyphen u so this hyphen u is like identity we have to pass and then we have to pass ftp url okay now ftp url if you don't know i just want to give you a few minute idea only a second idea i can say ftp is a server so that server something here and these are the clients so ftp server works on the protocol ftp that's why the server is known as ftp server file transfer protocol so this ftp means is here you can put some files okay the files you want to share those files with multiple users and the common files you want to share with multiple users so those files you will put here so that is the use of ftp server and ftp server you can enable multiple access also like without username and password you can't download file so how you can download the curl is the curl hyphen u then you have to give username of that ftp server then password of ftp server then ftp url that's how you can download a file if you want to upload a file same curl hyphen u to pass credentials like username colon password then hyphen t hyphen t is to upload a file now finally which file you want to upload and the ftp server url here so that's uh, when we are discussing multiple servers and when I